Brush Hour in Rome. Hundreds of thousands of vehicles are bumper to bumper on congested roads. To relieve the pressure, Rome is going underground. Valerio Foti is a site engineer on one of the biggest construction projects in the city. Because of the high traffic that's uh, actually in the city, Rome need a new metro because we have only two metro lines till now. And so now we are building the third uh, metro line. Valerio and his team plan to build over nine miles of tunnels and 30 stations under this ancient city. They need to dig with a delicate touch. Every layer of earth they remove could contain relics from ancient times. Rome's metro will not be built in a day. To build a station uh, in Rome uh, is uh, obviously complex because we discovered that uh, about 22 meters in the ground are archaeological items. The team has a lot to live up to. They're building on the achievements of their ancient ancestors who were masters of building transport networks. The Romans built the world's first superhighway, the Via Appia. On the surface, it looks like nothing special, but it's packed with Roman ingenuity and volcanic rocks. On the top sits over a foot of tough lava stone. Underneath, a thick layer of gravel and concrete for strength. Below this, a layer of rocks and rubble for drainage. And at the very bottom, a layer of tough basalt rock laid down by a volcano nearly 300,000 years ago. And the Via Appia runs right on top of it. Geologist Guido Giordano investigates how the ancient Romans turned volcanic rock into the perfect road surface. Romans had lava available in their territory, and they were uh, clever enough to, uh, to use them uh, in a way that uh, was uh, unprecedented. The basalt in this quarry outside Rome is so tough that it takes the workers hours to carve out just one slab of it. It's very different from the soft pozzolana under the city itself. Yet they both came from the same volcano. 350,000 years ago, after six massive ash eruptions, Coli Albani's magma chamber was nearly empty and collapsed. Now, fresh magma flowed up through cracks in the rocks. Instead of bursting out in a single huge explosion, the magma erupted in many small fountains. Rivers of red-hot lava flowed all the way to where Rome is today. As it cooled, the lava turned into incredibly tough basalt, the rock that makes Roman roads so durable. Back at the quarry, the workers can finally prize away the block of basalt they split off earlier. At the Roman time, they didn't have any caterpillars or excavators, so everything from the beginning would have been done by human force. In order to provide the amount of material that uh, the Romans needed, uh, they must have had thousands of people working in the quarry like this one. 